Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And we're going to do something a little bit different this time, guys. There's been a new addition to this game, and I want to try it out. And from what I understand, this is how you have to catch these Barracuda. Now, they actually have a map here besides the tropical freeze called the polar storm. Now this at least if I understand is like an ice flow. So at least it's a little bit more realistic because at least you're over seawater. Now we're gonna go ahead and give this a try because I have actually caught these Barracuda in the tropical freeze now and I want to see just what I can do as far as total weight goes in a contest here. Uh, what is that? Oh, somebody wants to watch my... I don't know how to do that, guys. <laughs> somebody wants to watch my, uh, myself play the game. I mean, it's kind of odd. All right. Let me see here. I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up. Fish fights, night, winter, 30 minutes, total weight, and the polar storm map. Now... From what I understand, the Barracuda are most active, as far as this game goes, at night. So, as you'll notice, on the night, it does say hard. And hard means not difficult, just that you're not going to catch them as often. But that's fine, because these guys are big enough that it isn't going to matter. Now, I have a good spot I'm going to try off the bat here. We're going to go over to this ice shack mainly because it's going to keep from freezing up and you'll notice on the map when I do the depth that this ice shack is right over a drop off right where the it goes to the deepest part these guys like to hang out right on the edge guys they live on the edge <laughs> anyway that's also true in the tropical freeze map as well if you get close to the edge right before you get to the deep area you're going to have a lot more luck seem to be getting them on the bottom. Now, according to what I've read, it doesn't matter on the depth, but this is the way I've been getting them. So we're going to see if we can get them here as well. Yeah, I, sorry guys, but I didn't go over my gear. I do apologize for that, but I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and bait this, and probably at the end I'll go ahead and go over what lures I'm using here. But they kind of like a fast movement here, guys. Deep and fast. So I'm going to go ahead and pause, because this usually takes a while. Like I said, they don't bite as often. Alright, it's been a little bit of time. About four mi three minutes, maybe. There we go. Okay, here's our first bite. And it's pretty good, so I think, I, I think I've got what I'm after here. Now fishing at night, you're pretty much just going to be getting these guys and flounder. Now if you go in a little bit, you might get the bullhead cats, maybe some burbot. So I'm going to try that later on, guys. There you go. 6.12 pound barracuda. Now guys, this guy's little. They come a lot bigger. I think the leaderboard has one around 75 pounds, if I'm not mistaken. And it's the biggest fish caught in this game. So, used to be the um, sturgeon. But the sturgeon has been outclassed, guys. There we go. I don't think this one's as big, but I think we still have a barracuda. Yeah, see how much it's fighting? And if this is a flounder, he, they're kind of 
though they kind of flounder about. Ha ha ha. No, I mean, no, they don't bite as hard. There you go. 4.19 pounds. Not bad. Not a monster, but not bad. And every bit, little bit helps because we are going for the biggest weight here. Most weight, I mean. Alright, come on. There we go. Okay. I'm thinking this might be a flounder, guys. He didn't fight too hard. He might be a decent sized flounder, though. Yeah, that's not too bad. A little over a pound. Yeah, see, he didn't fight nearly as hard. Yeah, there's a lot of laps in between here, guys. I hope you don't mind me cutting it out, but you'd just be seeing me bobbing this thing up and down like this for minutes at a time. So... There we go again. Alright. Yeah, I was getting ready to, to move because I kind of like to move around a little bit. About every 10 minutes. Into the competition. Now that's a big bluegill. That's probably the biggest bluegill I've caught in this game. I haven't seen one four pounds or more. I'm pretty sure of it. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and go over to some other location. Just have a feeling about this little area over here on the map, up the top on the north. was not what I intended to do. You didn't see that. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. There we go. Right there. I don't know if you can see it. But it's almost like a little cubby hole or a little enclosed area right before it gets shallow. Why the heck I gotta get that darn thing to drill? Come on. There it goes. I'm having a little bit of my problems with my mouse lately. Actually, it's more my touchpad, and it's conflicting with my mouse, actually. Make sure that's the fullest depth. Alright, let's see if there's anything here. Fifteen minutes. There we go. Oh, oh my God! This one's this one's big. Look at that rod, guys. This one's good size. See how hard it is to get him up? Just kind of inching at a time. You got to when you get one like this, you got to be really careful. As you see that line on the right going yellow. You do not want it to get red either direction. You'll either get off the hook or you'll break the line. And he's not going to make it easy for me. Almost there. The last one I caught was around 23 pounds. Nice! Still 23 pounds, but still extremely nice. And I think, guys, I'm almost positive that I've got this competition in the bag. Now, that is a nice barracuda. This is more what you're after.
And at this point, I think I'm probably okay, but I'm going to see if I can't get a bigger one. Holy crap. Okay, this one might be bigger. Oh, this one's definitely bigger. I can barely budge him. Whoa, whoa, okay. I got to be careful. Do not... Jeez. Okay, this is big. This is going to be tough. I barely, barely nudged him, and I... He keeps going down in the yellow. Oh man, I really want to see this one. Jeez, I'm only halfway. Come oh. I'm pushing it there. I was pushing it. <laughs> I saw that flash red. I'm like, oh man. Come on. Lord. Okay, this is a monster, guys. This is a monster. He is big. I am still barely moving him. Still barely move. Look at the rod. It is just practically bent in, in half there. Great, now Snoopy's gonna bark. <laughs> Ooh, a better... Heck on it. If I snap it this close... Almost... There. Yes! Use the scoop. Well, good God, no wonder... Yeah, I'm sure it froze over. How dadgum big is this fish? still coming out whoa holy crap 66.93 pounds guys 66 look at it, it takes up the entire bottom half of the screen practically 66.93 pounds that is a monster I don't think it made the leaderboard but it's definitely definitely a big fish holy crap no no I've got this I've got this competition <laughs> I can't even I can't even fish around it keeps flashing the screen Barracuda 63 see if I can't move him but I can't all right looks like you got us another one I'm thinking this is a flounder, guys. A little too easy. Yep. Good God. Quarter pound. From 67 pounds almost to quarter pound. Move, guy. I can't get him out of the way. He's huge. Jeez. I'm just going to have to... Well, I don't know if that helped any. He's just going to have to be there, I guess. There we go. <laughs> I'm not doing that on purpose this time. I was just trying to pull on the rod. Yeah, it dropped a little bit below our screen again. Yeah, this is probably another Barracuda. Not huge. Yep. 6.43 pounds. Not too bad. I wonder how much weight I've got here, guys. That's got to be a lot. I know I've, I, I, I know I've won this. I had to have. Four minutes... Yeah, I think when it gets to two minutes, I'm just going to go. Well, looks like I got another one first. Uh, I'm thinking this is a flounder. Yep. 
a little over a pound. Every little bit helps. Well, honestly, I hope I don't get a big one like that because I don't think I have time to bring him in. <laughs> I just, yeah, it's almost two minutes now, guys. Okay, we're done. We're heading back. I am not going to jeopardize this. All right, we're almost to the starting gate, and these idiots are still fishing. I guess I'll just wait here and fast forward it to the end. 15 seconds, guys. There's no way anybody beat me in this. Boy, they wait the last minute, don't they? All right. Did you think? <laughs> I mean, come on. Lord. 113 pounds of fish. And, of course, I got the biggest fish, too. Well, good God, most of them got disqualified. They didn't get their time. Or they didn't get anything. All right, guys, I did promise to show you the equipment here real quick. Yeah, I'm using a balance lure, as you had noticed, but I'm using the tiger balance lure because that is, as you can see, good for barracuda. And let me get over here to... Bait. I'm using the Sparkle Night Lure. It seems to really attract these guys. I'm using my Heavy Standard Drill and my Heavy Technic Rod. So I hope, guys, that you enjoyed that episode. That was one mass of fish. Anyway, guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And I think next time we're going to try the Tropical Freeze again. So until then, I will see you later. Bye-bye.